Welcome everybody to how to install SFDX CLI on Ubuntu 20.04 to boost developer productivity. This is your host, Vernon Keenan from salesforcedevops.net. I made this video to show you how I personally install the Salesforce command line utility in Linux. Then I will show you how using SFDX CLI autocomplete improves my productivity. Let us not minimize the fact that DevOps is a complicated subject. To break it down, I made this list of important topics which need to be covered. But if you are just starting out with Salesforce DevOps, don't worry too much about the whole stack. For now, let's zoom into the developer layer. This stack is where we spend most of our time as developers. Today, I'm going to further zero in on the command line interfaces that we use for scripting in Salesforce DevOps. The most important one of those is the Salesforce CLI, otherwise known as SFDX CLI. So with further ado, let's get started by reviewing the steps. Check the accompanying blog posting to the link to the full set of instructions for completing this tutorial. You can follow along by copying and pasting the scripting code from this GitHub gist on my account. I'm going to take you through the way that I like to install the CLI for myself that includes some productivity tools such as the ZSH shell and oh my ZSH enhancement the node version manager, and finally the CLI itself. And that's all done to support the autocomplete feature in the CLI so that we can easily access the hundreds of different options available in the Salesforce CLI. Oh my ZSH uses a powerline font to do, to do its coolest features. So step one is to download and install the TTF font file that I linked in the blog posting. I have successfully installed and used Fura code Retina as a powerline font on Mac, Linux, and Windows. So that's a step that I leave up to you. For the demo, I have a server called DevOps that is set up with my username Verm, and it is a fresh Ubuntu installation running Bash Shell. To get started, we are going to install the ZSH shell as root and let us paste in an apt install command and then the change shell command to set ZSH as default. Then we're going to log off the workstation, log back in, and I'm going to hit two here to set it up as to set up ZSH with the default scripting environment. Next, to install oh my ZSH as a user, we start off by pasting in the simple shell execution command. And to configure oh my ZSH, I'm going to paste in some more. I'm going to log off first and I'm going to log back in. Then I'm going to paste in some of these said commands to configure oh my ZSH with the recommended style and plugin. And then this git command is going to install the autocomplete database. Node version manager is what makes this procedure simple. So we paste in that shell command. And then, I, then I'm going to refresh ZSH and then use nvm install dash dash LTS to install node. And then I'm going to install SFDX CLI with npm install minus g space fs s f d x c l i that takes from one to five minutes depending on your workstation for npm to complete and then to test the installation i'm going to type s f d x and i should get back this display this shows it's working properly To show off autocomplete, let us zero in on the auth command. First, I will do a full listing of all the commands available by typing sfdx tab tab. Then I will add a tab to see all the authentication commands. Then I will pick the device authentication option and hitting dash 
tab to see the command options. I'm going to set my default Dev Hub username. I'm going to do an authentication action off, off screen and I'm logged in. So thank you for checking out my tutorial on installing SFDX CLI with some of my favorite productivity tools. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and drop by the website salesforcedevops.net to learn more. That is all from Oakland, California for now. Thank you very much.